Hello friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about the injection of minority carriers inside the extrinsic semiconductor. So, the injection of minority carriers inside the extrinsic semiconductor. For this, let us take an semiconductor bar which is an extrinsic semiconductor. So let us take a extrinsic semiconductor bar which is a n-type semiconductor. Now let us assume that we are injecting the minority carriers from this side. So from this side we are injecting the minority carriers. That means since it is a n-type semiconductor that means we are injecting holes here. Now since we are injecting the minority carriers or holes inside this n-type semiconductor from this side, so during the injection the concentration of the holes will be very high at this point of the semiconductor. So in the figure you can see that the concentration of the holes at this region or the injection point is very high. Now these holes is, are now on the high concentration region. Now they will try to diffuse into the lower concentration region. So the concentration of the minority carriers inside this n-type semiconductor will tend to decrease exponentially with the length of the semiconductor. So this is called the injected minority carrier profile. So from this injected minority carrier profile we have seen that the concentration of the minor injected minority carrier is decreasing exponentially with the increase of the distance x or with the increase of the length inside the semiconductor. So suppose we have injected a del p amount of carriers or holes inside the n type. Let us assume that del p minority carriers are injected from this injection point site. Now this del p amount of minority carriers is situated near this injection point. As the time increases or as the length increases this minority carrier concentration will fall due to due to two factors first one is recombination of the minority carriers with the majority carriers
and the next factor is I have told earlier that is the diffusion phenomenon is taking place. So, these are the two factors that will determine why the minority carrier concentration is falling with the length of the semiconductor. Now, if I draw the graph of the minority carrier concentration, this x axis gives the length of the semiconductor. I am denoting it as x and this y axis will give the concentration of minority carrier that has been injected. So, we have injected del p amount of minority carriers. So, this is the del p amount as the length increases so del p will decrease exponentially with the length of the semiconductor and this equation for the minority carrier concentration with respect to the distance x can be written as px is equals to del p into e to the power minus x by lp. So, by this px equation we can determine how the minority carrier injected concentration is decreasing with respect to distance. Similarly, if I plot this graph with respect to the time variable then it will look like this. The x axis denotes the time variable and the y axis will give the concentration of injected minority carrier. So, this is the point where the injection has been done. So, it is the t equals to 0 point. So, at t equals to 0, we have injected del p amount of minority carriers or holes inside that n type semiconductor. So, as the time elapses, this del p minority carrier concentration will decrease exponentially. So, if I write the minority carrier concentration with respect to time, then it can be written as p of t is equals to del p into e to the power minus t by tau p. So, this is the variation of the injected minority carrier concentration with respect to time, where this tau p is the minority carrier lifetime inside the semiconductor and this LP, this LP is the diffusion length of the minority carrier in semiconductor. So, these two equation Px and Pt will give the minority carrier concentration profile during the injection inside the semiconductor. So, now if we put Now, if we put 
t tends to infinite then we can see from this equation from this equation we can see that p of t will be del p into e to the power minus infinite or del p that means del p is equals to pt the physical significance of this equation is that if the time will tends to infinite then the injected minority carrier concentration will be uniform throughout the semiconductor so this is all about the injection of the minority carriers inside the extrinsic semiconductor thank you